game in Tottenham's race to fourth spot as tonight we take on Everton in the Monday Night Football. Guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today this is the match day preview for tonight's game between Tottenham and Everton. Now, you know, we really need to win this game because, you know, we can go level points with West Ham and that means if we go level points with West Ham, we're only a few points behind Arsenal who are sitting in fourth place. So, yeah, it's a big game tonight, so we have to win. So, let's get into the video. Right then, so let's have a look at the form coming into tonight's game. So, let's have a look at Everton coming into the game. So, Everton have a win, loss, loss, win, loss, and they win. So, three wins and three losses in the last six games for Everton. Obviously, Everton, their last game was a 2-0 home win in the FA Cup against National League side Boreham Wood. And, um, obviously, goal scorers for Everton, obviously, two goals for um, Solomon for Jose Solomon Rondon or just known as Solomon Rondon and obviously Everton you know they progress to the next round of the FA Cup and I think they're playing against Crystal Palace away um so you know that, that should be a good game but obviously this is Spurs coming into the game so we have a loss win loss win loss loss so two wins in the last six and those wins against Manchester City and Leeds away obviously our last four fixtures have been away from home. We won away against we won away against Man City. We lost away at Burnley. We beat Leeds 4-0 four nil, four nil away. And obviously our last game, which was the 1-0 defeat against Middlesbrough in the FA Cup. And the first half of that game was very boring, but the second half and extra time was all borough, if I have to be honest. But yeah, and obviously our last home game was a 2-0 defeat against Wolves so hopefully we win this game tonight because obviously after this we've got a tough game against Manchester United on the 12th of March so yeah that's the form coming into the game right so what is my score prediction coming into tonight's game between Tottenham and Everton now obviously Everton have had a change of manager this season you know they appointed Rafa Benitez and obviously they sacked him and now they do have former Chelsea and Manchester City player Frank Lampard at the wheel and uh, Everton under Frank Lampard you know they've done decent under him you know they've lost some games and, and uh, they've won some big games but I think against Man City I don't know how that was in the penalty but I think Everton should have probably got a point out of that one but you know tonight obviously Deli Alley returns so I wonder what reception he'll get from the Spurs fans but you know we really have to win this game we can't afford a loss and we cannot afford a draw a draw tonight just isn't good enough if i have to be honest but everton you know they've really changed under frank lampard and they'll really be up for this tonight because you know looking at everton in the league they're 17th um and, and if they and if they lose tonight and if they lose tonight that will be very disappointing for them because that gives burnley a big advantage on saturday against brentford obviously everton after this after this game they have a home game against wolves the next day so Burnley, if they win on Saturday again, so if Everton lose tonight, Burnley win and Everton, if Everton lose the next two and Burnley beat and Burnley beat Brentford, Burnley go above Everton in the table. So if Everton, they need to get something out of this game tonight. But well, the, Everton this season they've played twenty four games this season and they've got twenty two points out of, out of twenty four games. <coughs> but like you know, it isn't too well. It's not the best in the world, but. You know, looking at Everton, they've won six, drawn four, and they've lost 14 games this season. Looking at Tottenham, we've played 25 games, um, and we've got 42 points in 25 games. That's, you know, quite decent. But, you know, we've got 13 wins, three draws, and nine losses this season in 25 Premier League matches. So, yeah, you know, we've lost nine games this season. To be fair, West Ham have lost nine and obviously United and Arsenal have lost seven. But, you know, looking at the teams like City, Liverpool, Chelsea, they've only lost like three or two games this season. Being, you know, it is football. But if I have to be honest, I'm not really that confident. I'm going to say Tottenham 2, Everton 2. I'm going to say a 2-2 two, two draw. All right, then let's have a look at the players to look out for. So let's start with Everton. Let's have a look at their tuna win over Boring Woods. So I think one player to keep an eye on who will probably play this game, potentially. I'm going to pick Anthony Gordon, the the young 21-year-old. You know, he got a high rating against Bournemouth, Wood, you know. He's done a run in a few Premier League games recently, but I think against, especially against Leeds, he did well. And also, I think he's actually quite decent, you know. So, I think to keep an eye on him. I think another player to keep an eye on 
is midfielder Adebolo Decore, the Frenchman. You know, he's played 17 games this season. He's got two goals and four assists. So that isn't too bad for a for a midfielder, you know. But, you know, looking at our stats this season, he's well, he's played 1,504 minutes, so that's not really that bad. But, you know, obviously he joined uh, Everton in 2020 and he's done all right, you know. 54 appearances, five goals. It's actually not too bad. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it, if I have to be honest, because looking at Everton's attack, probably none of them will play tonight. Um, but any Everton fans watching this video, these are the players you need to look out for. Obviously, after our defeat against Middlesbrough, I think I have to start off with Kulusevski. I don't know why Conte took him off, if I have to be honest. I think it should have been Son, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, Kulusevski did well, if I have to be honest. And... I think Larice as well, so I think that's it I have to be honest. So Everton keep an eye on for Kulusevski and Larice. Alright then, so this is my predicted lineup to take on Everton this evening. So in goal I'm gonna go with Hugo Larice, obviously no mistake there. Back three of Romero, Dyer and Davis. Obviously that back three has probably been the same since Romero's been back. And you know, for players like Tanganga, you know, he has really struggled for game time. So if, if I was Tanganga, I'll probably hand in the transfer request for like a loan deal. I know AC Milan wanted him, so maybe go to AC Milan, you know. They, they've they um, done produce some good players, you know, Tamori um, and some other players. But yeah, then four midfield of Emerson, Hoibo, Benton Kier and Regulon. Uh, I do. I think Benton Kier is back, I think, from his injury that he suffered against Burnley. So I think he will come in to replace Winks and I think Regulon will come in to replace Ryan Sessignon. And I think Emerson will come in to replace Doherty. So, bit of a muddle up there in that midfield. And then, two cams of Kulusevski and Son. If I have to be honest, I was very, very disappointed with the performance by Hung Min Son. Just didn't really get... Every time he got the ball, just lost the ball. So, hopefully, he put he just turns it on tonight. And then up front, obviously, it's going to be Harry Kane, you know. No mistake there. Um, but anyway, so my predictive lineup is Larice, uh, Romero, Dyer, Davis, Emerson, Hoiberg. Sorry, my Larice, Romero, Dyer, Davis, Emerson, Hoiberg, Benson, Co. Regan, Kulusevsky, Sonic, and anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Smash that subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Come on, Spurs.